Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to another video. We're out here again. Oh, sun is shining today. Oh my. I just checked the weather. It's like 20 degrees outside, which is actually sensational. It's been like this for what, five days now? This is like unheard of in April in the UK. So I'm enjoying this. Okay, so you asked me, Lucas, what are we going to do today? Well, today, uh, today we're going to go through my current full day of eating, how I'm kind of bulking, busting, really lean. Well, not really lean, leaner than, let's say, previous experiences. I'm going through kind of how I'm managing to like lean bulk but ridiculously easy at the time. This is a topic that most people find hard like lean bulking is considered quite difficult. Oh, I've got this dirty bite on my neck. Don't know where it's from. The mosquito was definitely sucking the life out of me last night but that is what? So yeah we're gonna do that today. Um, I need to hit shoulders and arm session as well just to kind of take you through how I'm getting on. You just may be the first time you see me bald, so uh, yeah, I've got a big shave off. I needed a little restart. Um, I've got some crazy bags under my eyes from the shower this morning. I've been doing the cold showers, which another video maybe talking about cold showers. Yeah, so it's made me feel a little bit. It puffs off my face a little bit. I don't know why. I don't know if it's just some cold water to my face. I could be waffling. I could be just tired. But I'm gonna have my green tea. Flipping out, man. This kettle, this kettle is mash up. So I'm gonna have that now um, whilst I make breakfast. I typically need to eat breakfast earlier than usual because otherwise it's a nightmare. I can never eat enough on set. Anyway, a million years later, I do need to eat. Damn, bro. Alright, so what I'm having to start the day is I think the key with all of this bulking stuff is that you need to make sure you're eating foods that you like and you have to make it as enjoyable as possible, otherwise, it's just not going to be sustainable, it's not going to work, and you're going to be more tempted by cheap meals, sugars, etc. I've gone for four eggs, um, some onions some tomatoes, some mushrooms, and one slice of sourdough bread. And then next to it, I've got my bowl of oats. I've got 150 grams of oats in here with uh, raspberries and blueberries. So together, this comes in at just over a thousand calories, I believe. I'll put the macronutrients on the screen now so you guys can see that. Yeah, let's dive in with this. I don't think I will, I'm kind of combining two meals and ones. I wouldn't necessarily have these two together, but I've got to sort of go, uh, it's getting kind of late. And I need to go and hit a session in a minute. So we're going to kick off the rest of today. There you go. We're in the gym. Actually, we're, no, we're not in the we're gym We're not in still. the gym. We're in the, the premise of the gym. <laughs> today we're hitting shoulders and arms. Give it a minute, give it a minute. I am, I honestly, I'm telling you right now, on the way over here, I almost got run over by three of those guys. Oh. Me off. Really me. So, my training is going, it's going well right now. Mm -hmm. As you know, I had a shoulder injury, so I've been building it back through like, just like controlled compounds. Right about now, we are, we're, we're 84 kg right now, so we're around 3, 4 kg away from the cut. I want to be in the, it doesn't have to be 90, but towards that 90 area before I do the cut. Um, because the way I've been bulking now is, much easier so let's just see with this new diet that i'm showing you all just how much better i am in the gym mm. and i have my basically this is this is juice with himalayan salt i've already tried it it tastes like tastes dead bro oh it tastes, dead. Whoa. It tastes really bad so uh that's what's gonna fuel me for today and yeah i'm gonna have to see you in the gym because this is gonna be a stressful process if you don't see us in the gym we, we didn't get in yeah which is mad because you have a membership so no, I don't have a membership. Oh. No. Keep it on the road. Oh. Yes. Uh, camera's there. Pretty good. Go. Oh, sorry. 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 We'll go 40. Yeah. I don't think we'll go 50. We might go, I don't know, I'll see. Let's go. Four minutes.
my neck. Uh, best way to do it for me is I find that like on the way down the down part of the movement, if I go too low, then my chin is bars way below my chin is pretty much touching touch the top of my chest, which I see a lot of people do. It puts, well, for me anyway, it puts my shoulder, I'm talking your shoulder in a compromising position because it's all the way back there. And you, whether it's rotated back to front delt, you're gonna get some sort of tinge if you go too heavy. So for me, I like to go slow, just under the chin, lift my head up a little bit, and then I'll go up again. I'm doing a little bit slow as well. And I find when doing that, my shoulder doing that gets a bit, and the gains just go up. Mind muscle connection, man. Mm. See that? You get, you get one. Success, yeah. I speak. I caught a buzz and you did too, but you tweaking. I look like I've been getting money, how reeking. You smell me. Line tape is a big day. If you know, you know. If you're part of the culture, you're part of the culture. If you don't know, you don't know. Line tape is a big day. If you know, you know. Ready, ready, we're packing them sizes, ready. That's LV, walk around with my chest out of my skin smooth, I'm healthy. I'm in a mix and I'm handshaking, but most of y'all can't help me. Most of y'all ain't wealthy. Most of y'all just dress like it. I caught the vibe that y'all giving off and I'm trying to make myself less like it. This chick got a little Porsche body, I might let the bro test drive it. It's hard for me to get excited. I love music and stress about it. My city honing, I'm co-signing this wave, coming up next out it. Riding around in the shotgun and her Tesla. Hanging both of my legs out it like, what's up? I got stakes and they too hot, now nah, I can't fuck up. I like girls that's down to earth, so don't be stuck up. I don't take L's, I give them out and I chuck them up. First listen, they hearing this shit like, what the fuck? Ten toes, that's my MO. Fam of a gram, that's my MO. Fuck a close friends, I got friends that I keep close and they let it go while I reload. Like, TSA just opened my book bag up and my chain hitting like The king's back in his hometown when them wheels hit and I touch down they She down low three point stands I'm back there doing jack dance like And I'm not no fashionista but I'm fly though And I know I gave up drinking but I'm high though We're gonna do some weighted dips quite heavy right now. Last time I used to, I used to be really good at these when I was like 77, 78 kg, I'm now 84. So, we don't make excuses, we're not making excuses. We're gonna, we're gonna mash it out, but we're gonna, we're gonna aim for eight to 10. That's the aim. Back then it made sense, but it's like now what? Now they down to come round just to be round us. You ain't one of my dogs, why do you hound us? It's very few of you I like, but it's a whole lot of y'all I don't trust. Cause ten toes, that's my MO. Fam of a gram, that's my MO. Fuck a close friends, I got friends that I keep close and they let it go while I reload. Low like TSA just opened my book bag up and my chain hit like The King's back in his hometown when them wheels hit. Okay, so we're back from the gym and we're just about to prep. Well, we are prepping the next meal, so we just got some fajitas there. Been making this since I've been in. So we're gonna eat this. My calorie intake's been like mad low today. Um, I only had that thing in the morning, so I need to eat quite a lot. So I've also got, also got some pasta. Uh, which I'm gonna try and consume at the same time. Um, well, not really. I'm gonna space it out, but I've prepped it all now, so I won't have to do that. The key that I say when doing this the whole time is make sure you are eating foods that you enjoy. So we talk about kind of easy ways to lean bulk. If you enjoy the foods, it makes it so much easier. So I've gone for these fajitas that I made that are just sick. And my recipes are goated as always. And I, I can eat those um, with like relative ease. It's, it's pretty good. And I enjoy them so much. More of these food meals examples you can find in my training program which i'll just put on the screen now um i'll put a link to it in the description where i can teach you how to eat foods that you enjoy you know i've even got things like french toast on there where you can enjoy them and you know still get shredded and things like that so make sure you're eating foods that you enjoy and it can help you so much in the long run but yeah we've got that wrap, those wraps and we've got a bit of pasta here we're probably not going to finish it all but i wanted to uh see how much i can get through in one sitting considering we've 
left it pretty late, pretty late today. So that water's purring. So this is the water you get in the UK. Look at that. Uh, what is uh man? Mad. This was having a little cheeky way in just to see what we're looking at. You know what I mean? Why is it not focusing on it? Eighty four, pretty much. Alright, so uh I need a jump up once it. Alright, boom. I had a sick session at the gym, everything is moving well, um, science is really packing on. How am I managing to bulk the way I am? So, bearing in mind, lighting into this gym was shocking, it was terrible. Um, so, really didn't do me justice. A lot, lot heavier than I was last year. For those of you who remember, last year I was around 80 at my max. And when I was at that weight, I was much higher body fat much much higher than the time before even worse so what have i learned from this bulking experience i've learned that you have to enjoy the foods that you eat and i said that before you can't eat foods that are going to be a struggle for you because you're just going to crave these other foods even more moving on to cravings like for me i don't have many sugar cravings i think sugar is the main one for people because i had a sugar detox for like two weeks so i didn't eat any sugar for like two weeks when you do that, your body doesn't have the same urge to like the same craving for sugar. So for me, that's how I did it. And I was just, I don't really have much sugar now. And I don't have the same urge to have it. Um, but in terms of cheat foods, of course I have them. Like I'm not a freak. I do have my cheat foods, but I just reduce it. And I will try and find alternatives. I will try and stay full. full staying full is, a, is, a, is an option. Like if you're full all the time, the craving is less, I suppose. But I think the main thing when it comes to bulking lean and what's made it so easy for me is using the easy calories that allow me to get get my food in so easily so for example olive oil and healthy fats are your best friend they do like i think a, t a tablespoon of olive oil is around 100 something calories I think 120 something calories which is nuts like think about it you have you have a bowl of rice and you pour a couple of tablespoons of olive oil and that makes that around you've just added two three hundred calories to your meal like that easy um an example meal that I would usually have is I would have two salmon fillets. I'd get two packets of basmati rice. And I use the ones from the shop because it allows me to cal calculate the macros much easier. Um, and then I would have alongside with that my veggies and I'd blend in that with some olive oil. Yes, the fat in this meal is extremely high, but I burn it all off in the gym. And it's healthy fats, it's good fats, it's not saturated fats, like it's good for you, do you know what I mean? I'm still managing to continue to eat like this and I'm going to go until, I think I'm going to go until I hit around 87 kg, I think that's that's the goal for me. I think 90 is a bit far off now, 87 will be the goal. And then I have a little cut, I'm not going to do an extreme cut, I don't think, Maybe, I don't know if I want to get shredded, I want to keep sort of building on. I'm going to do a little cut and sort of build more so it'll be like a little cut build more a little cut build more and that'll be the way so for the meals that you saw today they are both they're all included in my training program you can find this training program in the description i already talked about it today um this training program is the one i currently use if any of you are interested go cop that we're going to be uploading consistently next video is a very exciting video get ready for that one make sure you sub and stay notified for that i'm feeling like fired up do you know what i mean i'm ready to just conquer shit like this is the year um, we are conquering everything so if you like the video drop a like leave a comment you know what did you like what didn't you like give me some fever you know what i mean mm -hmm. appreciate all the support and i'll catch you in the next video very very soon we got money to make yeah we gonna do this today i'm trying to whip in the rave Mess up his nigga, I fake it Then I have time for no faking Chasing the money we racing Loving the money I'm missing Do whatever we're facing We got money